You remember a few weeks ago, we talked about making your business run by itself. Well, before you can do that, you need to understand how your business works. And you need to understand it well enough that you could explain it to someone else. This is called process mapping, and it can be a huge pain in the butt. Or it was until now. In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify which business processes to map first and then I'm going to show you a simple way to get these on paper so you can get one step closer to having your business run by itself. So first, let's talk about how to identify which business processes are worth mapping. We're doing this so that we don't waste time mapping everything. We're trying to hit the low hanging fruit first. Here's the deciding factor. We're looking for parts of our business that provide a great deal of value, but there are also pretty painful. We need the value part because if it's not valuable, why are we doing it? Quick pro tip. If you come across something that's not valuable in your business, consider eliminating it. And you may be wondering what I mean by process. Well, it's a piece of your business with a defined start and stop. Think of it as a path. You know where it starts and there are different directions you follow to get to the end. A popular example that's in most businesses is the sales process. A customer requests products or services, the start, and we deliver products or services, the end. Along the way, we likely put together a sales order, schedule delivery, and so on. A quick note though, we don't have to be mapping large processes for them to generate value. Maybe we just want to map the input of the sales order right now because it's causing our company a lot of pain. Whatever process you decide to map, we just need a defined start and a defined stop. Anyway, once you've found something in your business that kind of sucks, but you need to do it, let's move on to the process mapping part. So here's what a process map can look like. It gets pretty involved, and a lot of times people pay big money just to get this thing. We're going to skip all that for now. Normally one of these takes long conversations with a consultant, them walking through your business, talking to some of your employees. It's very expensive and it takes a lot of time. Now, there's great value to be had here, but we can get a lot of the value just by creating our own process map to start with. But the conversation part is still important. So let me show you what I put together for you. If you haven't been living under a rock, you're probably familiar with AI and probably with ChatGPT specifically. What you may not be aware of is that you can feed an AI prompts. These tell it how to act and how to respond. So I've put together a prompt for you to turn any AI into your little process mapping consultant. And that prompt is available for free. You can check out the details in the description of this video. So once you have my prompt, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab it and copy the whole thing and paste it in here. And now, ChatGPT is ready to talk us through our process map. So we're going to say this is our sales process. So it's got a name and what kicks off the sales process. So this is our start. This is going to be a customer requests product. Okay, what happens next? A salesperson puts together a sales order. So you're going to keep talking to ChatGPT until your process is done. It will ask you leading questions about what next steps are, if there are decision points, and so on. It'll guide you really nicely. Then, here's how you get the visual. So ChatGPT is going to spit this guy out. We want to copy everything from Flowchart TD all the way down to this EB. So basically the whole thing. We're going to copy it. And then we're going to go to a website called mermaid.live. Once we're there, we're going to take what we copied and paste it into this code section. And you'll see it built out our whole flowchart for us. Pretty sweet, right? And much easier and cheaper than doing it with a consultant. And yeah, it's not perfect, but it will definitely give something for you, your team, and your partner, if you have them, to review and make awesome in Odoo. Once you've watched this, you may want to check out my video on the EAD process to further refine your business and make it so it runs without you. 
These really go hand in hand.